And hello, YouTube, and welcome back to another episode of The Zone TV Movie Entertainment with me, your host, Jonathan. Once again, bringing you my thoughts and review for tonight's episode of The CW's The Flash, Season 9, Episode 5. And if you have not caught up to The Flash yet, you have got to catch up. Some spoilers ahead, so you've been warned. So, let's talk about it, because um, there was some good stuff in here. So, we all know that Red Death is Ryan Wilder from, another, uh, I guess, another, another um, double-ganger version of herself. She wants to take over Barry's world. Why? Because she's kind of ticked off that Barry lied to her about something and her her timeline, and you know, you know he doesn't exist over there. And then, you know, she decided that she needed to be stronger, faster, so she can really clean up Gotham and everything else. And she gets stuck in his world, and then she tries to make the cosmic treadmill to try to go back home. Barry's friends and him destroy it. And unfortunately, she's stuck there, so she decides to take over his world and make it a better place in her, you know, in her eyes. So Barry and the team they literally got to do what they got to do. Unfortunately, Barry has no speed. She literally drained all his speed to get back her speed because he drained her speed with the cosmic treadmill. Plus that also dampened his powers a little bit. And yeah, so he needed to figure out a way to pretty much stop her while she's terrorizing the city she goes to the ccpd she takes that over she takes over the whole city um cecile tries to track it down with her mental powers but it's being blocked we find out that mark is still alive because we thought he died in the last episode which i didn't think he did that's why i didn't want to cover it from last week i kind of knew he was going to be alive still um what else let's see we got a big surprise in two cameos in here tonight with the return of not only we got to see Gorilla Grodd make his return. Apparently, he was upset with Barry about, you know, saying that he would help him find his, his, his other gorilla friends. And apparently, Ryan tricked him to be able to use his, tech, his telekinesis powers for her. So she can, I guess, you know, use it against Barry. So there's that. And, of course, we got the return of Ryan Wilder, a.k.a. Batwoman, the real Batwoman from... From Earth Prime showing up to help out the team, and they basically all help to take out Red Death. And um, you know, I'm gonna be honest with this about this episode. I thought it was okay. Red Death was an okay villain. It wasn't the greatest villain out of all the villains we've gotten. It was cool to see. You know, Red Death is a very cool comic book character in the, from the you know multiverse of DC Comics, but. Overall, I thought the character was just okay. I mean, you know, I wanted more. I mean, I'm not sure if this is the last episode of Red Dev. I mean, I hope we get more. But if it's not, if it is the last episode of Red Dev, I'm kind of disappointed a little bit. Because, you know, you, you build up Red Dev to be this big menacing villain. And it's not really, like, going to be a big villain. Now, my return, there were some leaked pictures about ne near the end of the season that might suggest... That she might come back, which would be great, because I hope it does. But um, for the first couple episodes, the first couple episodes with this character, I kind of felt like it was mediocre a little bit. But um, overall, I hope we do get to see it again, because honestly, I kind of feel like right now it felt like a, a, little, a little bit of a waste. Um, we got to see the return of Mark, so he was knocked out. Uh, Keon, a, you know, played by Daniela Pennebaker. She kisses him, and then apparently he wakes up. So either she has the power to, rever you know, rege regenerate people's powers or wake them up or something. Kind of like a Sleeping Beauty in reverse kind of thing where the beauty wakes up the, the, the prince in a way, kind of like that. So she did that. So that's interesting. So I don't know if she's going to have powers. But it was cool to see that maybe Daniela Panabaker's character, Caitlin or Keon now, might get a happy ending, maybe hooking up a market at the very end of the show. We don't know. You know, we always wanted Daniela, uh, Caitlin's to have at least some kind of happy ending. Because, you know, let's face the fact, she never really gotten one. She had Frost. Now Frost is gone. You know, she had Ronnie. Ronnie's gone. So she, she needs something. But we'll see. Um, This was the final episode of Joe. You know, apparently I totally forgot that he was going to have a minimum, you know, screen time in this season so he's done for the for the series so i want to thank the actor who played him because he was great throughout the whole series and to be to be completely honest he was the best father figure throughout the entire arrowverse including um the actor who played um 
the cop from um, Arrow. He, he was great too. It's just I think Joe is a little bit better as a father figure character. So, you know, so there's that. Um, it was cool seeing Gorilla Grodd. I do wish Gorilla Grodd was bad again. But I'll, I'll save that for my, you know, negative spot the whole series in general when it's officially done. But, um, yeah, and now we find out at the end of the episode that Iris is pregnant a little bit early, but about time, so there's that. We also got to see Allegra and Chester finally kiss, so there's that. So hopefully they can finally stop, you know, focus on them. Are they going to kiss? Are they going to not kiss, you know, so much? Because I'm getting kind of tired of seeing it. Because they shouldn't have been together since last season, but whatever. But overall, for the first, for this episode so far, wasn't a bad episode. I like seeing that all his so-called bad guy team might be coming, become good guys now. So there's the new team Flash. I hopefully, hopefully, because I'm um, pretty sure the big, big bad will be revealed by the next couple episodes until the very end. So um, for the big final showdown, whoever it is, my money's on reverse Flash coming back, but who knows? But um, we'll see about that. Um, we might see, you know, Keon get powers next week. But only time will tell, but we have to wait and see what happens with there. But overall, pretty cool episode. I'm, you know, no bad puns tonight. I'm so glad there was no bad puns in this. Because honestly, the bad puns from last week was kind of cheesy. Not that the actress who plays Ryan wasn't doing a good job with it. I just felt she didn't, she doesn't need to say those lines just to make like a cheap thing happen you know oh look she could say the batman lines and be cool yeah but she didn't need that she needs to just be ryan again and do her own thing be a cheesy villain if you want to call it that sure and um just seeing her be batwoman again was great you know even though the show got canceled kind of wish we got more but um yeah so we have to wait to see what happens next week and also next week i will be doing my reviews returning for superman and lois that will be returning and also i will be checking out gotham nights and hopefully it's a good show if you guys want me to review the whole seat first season i will do that but uh we'll see what happens next week when it comes out so leave me a comment below let me know what you guys thought about this episode are you guys excited that red depth is done you guys want to see more leave me a comment below let me know thank you very much and have a good night